Please be seated where you are. Of no time. Revelation chapter 5. Mustali. And verse. Wapiri. 2. Ni, ni kaona malaika mwenye nguvu akihubiri kwa sauti kuu Then I saw a strong angel atailie kukifungua kitabu Who is worthy to open the scroll and lose, sake. and lose its seals Wala hapakuwa na mtu mbinguni wala chini ya nchi wala chini ya nchi aliyeweza kukifungua hicho kitabu Was able to open the scroll and look at it kukitazama Nami nikalia kwa kuwa hapakonekana mtu Astailie kukifungua Hicho kitamu Wala kukitazamu Na mmoja wapo Wawale wase Akaniambia usilie Tazama simba Alie wakabila la yuda Sina la dauchi Yei amesina Apate kukifungua kile kitabu Na zile muhuli zake saba Ki nikaona katikati ya kila kiti cha enzi Wale wenye wahai wane Katikati ya wale waze Mwana kondo Mwana kondo Mwana kondo Mwana kondo Ame simama Alikuwa kana kwamba mechingi Mwanya pembe saba Na macho saba Ambazo nilo saba za mungu Zilizo tumwa katika dunia yote Nyanyo mkono waka chumu Rise up your hand Limo powder that sata Natamani I desire Ujue kitu kimo That you know this one thing Ulimwengu huu In this world Haukua nasiruisho There was no solution. Unatamani ni kuombe. Do you desire that I pray for you? Just raise up your hand. Fumba macho. And close your eyes. Mungu unaishi. God you live. Wala pana mungine kama wewe. And there is no other like you. Na mi sina mungine. And I have no other. Ambaye ni tawambia watu hawa wa muamini. Of whom I will tell people about. Watu hawa wa mfuati. These people have followed you. Ni wewe peke yako. It is so that you alone. Uli itwa njia na kwe ni njia. You are called the only way. Ni wewe peke yako. It is you alone. Ume itwa kwe ni na ni kwe ni unaukawa. Na ni kwe ni unaponya. Ni wewe peke yako. It is you alone. Ume itwa usimu. You are called life. Nasi sote And we all Tunanyekea chini ya mkono wa We humble before your hand Saa imefika The time has reached Saa imefika The time has reached Saa imefika The time has reached Ya nema na uchikufu wako To see your glory Ya nema na uchikufu wako Of grace Saa imefika The time has reached Ya nkufu zako Saa imefika The time has reached Ya kikao chako kutimiza malengo Of you to us. Saa imefika ya hadi yako kutimia. Saa imefika ya kila ulicho kisema kutokea. Saa imefika ya kila wanacho sikia kukiona. Saa imefika tena mbele ya mbingu, mbele ya wanadamu, mbele ya kila moja mwenye mwiri. Saa imefika tena emungu, huruma zako zifunuliwa kwa wanadamu. Saa imefika epwana, uchukue tena watua ya kutusogeza kwa namu na nyingine. Saa imefika ya kufunua jambo jipia, saa imefika ya kumuinua mnyonge, saa imefika ya walio kuwa na kungoja kupokea ngumu. Asante Yesu. Thank you Lord. Weka mkono wako chi. Just lower your hand. Nisikilize kwa makini. Listen very carefully. Dakika chache tu. This few minutes. Iko hivi. It is this way. Wakati unaishi. While you are, you live. Unahitaji kitu hiki. You need this thing. Huruma za Mungu. The message of God. Huruma za Mungu. The message of God. Nitaongea na wewe. I'm speaking to you. Kwa bali ya huruma za Mungu. About the message of God. Kuna kitu ambacho There is something that Yesu Jesus Alikuja nacho Came with Ni kitu cha Dawudi It is up the seat of David The throne of David Alikuja na kitu cha Dawudi He came with the throne of David Ndiyo mana Bartholomeo That is why Bartholomeo Alipo kuwa kipofu When he was blind Alisema mwana wa Dawudi He said the son of David Ukisoma Isaiah msina tano 
When you read Isaiah 53, verse 3, the scripture says, God will make a covenant through the mercies of David. This is a level that God is revealing himself to do something for you that you even did not deserve. Let me tell you the grace of today when God was speaking to me he told me go and talk about Ruhama. Ruhama is a kind of an anointing or power of the Holy Spirit that come upon a person to help him through the mercies of God. Mungu anauruma. God is merciful. Na huruma zake. And his mercies. Ndizu ambaso mala nyingine zime kufanya hata leo uwe hai. They are the ones that make you up today you are alive. Ndizu ambaso pia zime kujalia uwewe kuepo leo. They are the ones that have also allowed you to be here today. Ninataka uwe leo. I want you to understand. Nilipo kuwa mwanza. When I was at mwanza. Mungu alinipa maneno magumu. God gave me hard words. Haka niambia hivi. And told me. Anyone whom I will have the grace of meeting with you, tell them that it is the time of my, my, of my mercy. It is the time of my mercy. Psalms chapter 1 verse 3. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Who crowns your loving kindness and turn a message. Who satisfies your youth with good things so that your youth is made like eagles. He made known his own to Moses. His acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and precious. Slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always fail the past. Nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins. Nor punished according to our iniquities. For as heaven is higher by the heaven, so great is the message to us those who fear him. Kama mashaliki hivyo mbali na magaribi ndivyo aliweka dhambi zetu so mbali nasi. Kama vile, baba, wa Kama vile baba awahurumiavyo watoto wake ndivyo Bwana anavyowahurumia wamtaa. So the Lord pities those who fear him. Iko hivi. It is this way. Ruhama Ruhama ni aina ya upako ambao Mungu anajifunua kama baba. It is a kind of an anointing that Jesus reveals himself as father. Ukiwa na mtoto if you have a child and tell him uh, do not go out of this place in the streets there is a problem you can be knocked out something bad may happen to you and that child may go out and uh, get knocked and find, find him in the hospital you won't hold a gun to a uh, shoot at him at the so hospital. Sana fesa More you will take money for, uh, for, for, for the medications. Now this is what God does in our lives. When he releases the grace of his mercy. Let me tell you. Adam, human beings kimoja, have one thing. Kira kitu kipata, everything that they get they know that it is right. It is the message of God. Even at other times, think you are not created to be a grasshopper. He may decide to create you as a grasshopper. But you living is the message of God. You being here as a man or a woman is the grace of God. And when you know it is the grace of God, you know you, uh, you, you've never, you never chose your agenda. Never did you uh, decide when to live. 
kwa chochote ambacho Mungu amekufanyia so anything that god did to you ni huruma zake it is his mercy na huruma zake anasema hazikomi and his mercies are never ending kwa lugha nyingine in other words hata baada ya kukulemu ili uishi even after having mercy on you so that you may live bado anakulemu ufanikiwe katika maisha is also having mercy on you so that you may prosper in this life kwa sababu because magonjo mengine tumeyapata other diseases that we get ni kwa sababu wazazi walikosea it is because our parents au sisi wenyewe tulikosea lakini anapotuponya but when he heals us ni kwa sababu ya huruma it's because of his mercy nisikilize listen nisikilize listen umaskini mwingine tunaupata the poverty that we have ni kwa sababu ya vitu vilivyotokea kwenye ukoo it is because of things that happened in our class ni haki kabisa sisi kuwa maskini it is right for us to be poor ya mikataba ya ukoo iliyokuwa inaendelea because of the confidence in our clans lakini Mungu anapompa mtu utajiri but when god gives someone prosperity ni kwa sababu anamlehemu it is because he has mercy upon him huruma ya Mungu ni matendo ya Mungu The messes of God are the works of God. Yanayotokea that happen hata pale ambapo hausaidi. Even when you do not deserve. Na tao noti hapo. I want you to know. Huruma za Mungu the messes of ni matendo ya Mungu. Are the acts of God. Yanapotokea that when they happen ndani ya maisha ya mtu in a, uh, hata wakati life, ambao hastahili even in a time that it is not deserved bwana yesu asifiwe praise jesus sema amen say amen sema hallelujah say hallelujah sema hallelujah say hallelujah sema hallelujah say hallelujah sema hallelujah say hallelujah sasa nisikilize now listen kuna kitu nitaka ukione hapa. There is something that I wanted you to know. Zabumi ya moja na tatu kumi anasema hakututenda sawa sawa na hatia zetu. He has not dealt with us according to our sins. Wala hakutulipa kwa kadi ya maovu yetu. No punish us according to our iniquities. Hiki ndio kiini cha huruma. This is uh, the yoke of his mercy. Unapoingia kwenye neema ya huruma za Mungu. When you get into the grace of the mercies of God. Mara zote hafanyi vile ambavyo umefanya. At all times it does not do what because of what you did. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema kama sio yeye because the Bible says if it was not for him, angeweza kusimama. Who could stand? Lakini kwake kuna msamaha ili yeye aogope. But to him there is forgiveness. Ninatamani ujue. I want you to know. Ukiwa mnyenyekevu utaliona sana ili nalo lesema leo. If you are humble you will see this what I'm, I'm saying. Huruma za Mungu zinapiteje juu ya maisha yako. How does the mercy of God pass on your life? Kwa sababu ya muda niseme njia ya kwanza ni toba. Because, because of time I'll speak of one toba that is repentance. Toba ni tofauti na hii watu nayolia wanakuja kukiri maneno fulani mazuri repentance is not this uh, confessing or speaking Toba certain words ni nia ya kubadilika repentance is the attitude of change nilipokuwa nimeokoka when i was born again ameongea ndugu yango save hapa nilipokuwa nimeokoka when i was born again nilikuwa kama vijana wengine i was just like other youths kilichoanza kunifanya nitembee na nguvu za Mungu what uh, what uh, made me to become a saint of God maisha ya toba i lived a life of repentance nini maana ya maisha ya toba what is the meaning of the life of repentance ni namna ya kuwa na maamuzi ya kuwa tayari kubadilika it is a way of having a decision hata kama yale mabadiliko yanahusisha maumivu fulani even if this change comes about with a certain pain hata kuviacha vitu unavyovipenda even living things that you love uwezo kaona neema ya nguvu za Mungu you cannot see the grace of the power of God kama unasema kitu ambacho hakiko moyoni if you say something that you need a lawyer toba when i speak of the spirit of repentance kama unatubu manake unaanza kutubu moyoni that means you start repenting from your heart maana ya toba because the meaning of repentance ni kuchange mindset kubadili mawazo it is changing your mindset kubadili mawazo it is changing your mindset hata wengi mpo leo even today a lot of you here mmedanganywa hata na manabii na watumishi wengine you have been uh, lied upon by prophets and other Sababu, wakati mnapeleka fedha kwa manabii because when you take money to this prophet, Mungu anahitaji fedha kumbe anahitaji lehema you think god needs money while he needs mercy that's why anasema sitaki sadaka nataka lehema that is why he say i do not need sacrifice unapoenda kuonana na nabii when you go to see a prophet ni vizuri kupeleka sadaka it is good to take a sacrifice lakini uh, kitu anachokihitaji Mungu sio sadaka ni moyo ulio kuwa tayari kubadilika it is not uh, the offering it's the heart Mana yake, is to change unapoenda kuponywa when you are going to be healed uwe tayari kwamba Yesu atakapokuambia uache dhambi uache be ready that when Jesus tells you to stop sinning, you stop sinning. Yesu atakapoambia samee usamee when Jesus tells you to forgive forgive lakini wengi tunatafuta baraka but a lot of us hatumtaki yule anayebariki and do not want him the wala hatutaki sheria zake and do not want his law hiyo haileti huruma za Mungu that does not bring about the mercy huruma ya Mungu inapita the mercy of god pass sio ambapo tunalalua mavazi yetu tunapolalua mioyo yetu 
it is when we tear out our hearts not our Sasa clothes nisikilize. now listen nisikilize. listen nisikilize. listen hata nilipokuwa chuo kikuu cha dodoma even when i was in the university of dodoma wananiambia chukua moyo wa toba the lord told me to take a heart of uh, repentance kwa mwishoni nilianza ushinda mlimani kuliko kuzunguka mjini so at the end uh, of my studies i was at the mount na wengi hawakunielewa wengi walikuwa wanaita yohana mbatizaji they are calling me john the baptist kwa sababu nilikuwa nashinda polini kuliko ushinda mjini kama wanavyoishi wanachukua nisikilize listen kitu ambacho kiliingia ndani yangu nilitamani kufuata maagizo ya Mungu kuliko ya kwangu roho ya toba ni kujikana wewe na kumkubali Yesu roho ya toba ni kuacha mapenzi yako na kuyafuata ya Yesu Kristo na hilo ndio la kwanza linalofanya huruma za Mungu ziwe juu ya mtu ujiulize ujiulize umemfuata Yesu sawa sawa na upo tayari kwa galama yoyote kumfuata Yesu vile anavyotaka mfuata wa Kristo wengi wako vile wanavyotaka wawe lakini hawako vile wanavyotaka Mungu wawe nisikilize ndio maana kati ya dini zisizo na nidhamu That is why duniani kati ya dini zisizo na nidhamu ambazo watu wanagombana wao kwa wao hata waislamu huwezi kaona wanagombana kama wakristo waislamu huwezi kaona wana wana maduka yao wakati wa ibada Muslims cannot open their shops to Ni watu wazuri sana ni watu wa kuigwa kati ya dini ambazo zina nidhamu kwa Mungu wao lakini wakristo but Christians hawana nidhamu na Mungu wao They've no uh, good kwa sababu hawajaamua kweli ndani kumfuata. Because they've not decided from their heart. Ndio maana unaweza kashangaa. That is why you may see. Hata mchungaji anazini. Even a pastor can come Hata wanakwaya ni rahisi. Na tupo kizazi ambacho. And there is a generation. Keep working alaisisha dhambi. That are passing and dhambi imekuwa kawaida. Sin is normal. Kwa watu wanajua kukaa kwenye madhehebu yao. So people know to are being in the denomination. Ndio kusudi pekee la Mungu. It is the only plan of God. Lakini nisikilize. But listen. Huu ni wakati wa toba. This is a time of Lazima ufanye wa Mungu uche. The kingdom of God. Tena kwa upi ndani yako. Amua kumchukuza Mungu. Utaanza kusiona huruma za Mungu zinakuja kwako. Sitaongea unachokipenda. Nitaongea anachokipenda unayempenda. Ni muhimu sana ukaelewa. Huruma za Mungu zinaanza na toba ya kweli. Toba ya kweli sio kulia kwamba nisamee. Toba ya kweli ni kuamua kuachana na kile ambacho kinamuudhi na kinamgadhibisha. Toba ya kweli ni kuamua kuchukua gharama hata kama utakuwa kufa kwa ajili ya Kristo uwe tayari nisikilize Ukristo mwepesi hautambuliki na Mungu hata kama tupo kwenye kizazi cha kisasa huo Kristo mbaya watu wanachukulia mambo kiopesi they are there they are there wanafanya mapenzi yao na watu wanatengeneza huduma kwa ajili ya matako yao sio kwa ajili ya Kristo Yesu Nicho ambacho kinamhangaisha Yesu Kristo alipokuwa anaongea na mimi kinabii kwamba kanisa langu linaniangaisha maana picha yangu sioni kwao huu ni wakati wa kurudisha picha ya Yesu na kurudi kwenye toba ya kweli maana yake mchungaji aingie kwenye toba ya kuacha kuzunguka kwa waumini azunguke kwenye mapori ili atafute chakula cha waumini aongee na Mungu kuliko kuongea na watu nisikilize huu ni wakati wa toba Waimbaji waache kulemba sauti warembe upako zaidi wala mashaka po huni wakati wa toba umenielewa ninachokisema mfanya biashara anayetaka neema ya Kristo hataki machini huni wakati wa toba ya kwamba Mungu ukinibariki nitafanya kama Yakobo nitaweka hazina yangu kwako maana hakuna hazina inayodumu ile kwako hebu sema huni wakati wa toba this is a time of repentance Tunaenda wakati ambao wofu umeongezeka na nguvu za kisa zimezidi duniani lakini ni wakati ambao tutaona huruma za Mungu wengine tunaishi kama mbinguni duniani wengine tunaishi kama watupo hapa ndicho kinachokuja kwako ninakutabiria katika jina la Yesu utakapochukua maamuzi ya kweli ya kwamba I'm full of dedication ninajitoa kabisa kumfuata huyo Yesu Kristo ili uzima wake uzirishwe nachukua kuwawa kwa mazoea yangu nachukua kuwawa kwa kaida zangu kufe ili kufe kawaida yangu yafe matabia ya nayo muzi kwiso ipe ule mwendo unaochafua sifa ya Yesu ninataka nimtukuze kama maandiko yanavyosema viumbe vyote vya subiria kufunuliwa kwa wana wa Mungu wapo watu ambao hata bundi hata mapaka yanasubiri kufunuliwa kwao kiri mababa mababa setapa yendo koshikarama 
host leo alikuwa ananiambia tazama huruma sana look at my mercy na utaelewa and you'll understand kama kama uelewi if you not understand hata mgonjwa asiamini ataponywa leo even a sick person wakati wa huruma za Mungu Nisikilize hata asiye na imani huwa anapona. Ndio maana Bartholomew alipoona imani yake haiko sawa sawa. Akasema mwana wa Daudi unilehe. Son of David have mercy. Hiki ni kiwango cha juu kuliko imani. This is a high level more than faith. Huruma za Mungu. Mercies of God. Ni kiwango cha juu cha Mungu kutana na mtu. It's a high way of God meeting with a man. Lakini nataka roho ya toba. But I wanted heart that is repentant. Nisikilize. Listen. Naamini I believe ukiwa makanisani if you in your church what to ameja people are full namna ya mazoea i are full of the normality and the usuality even in our churches kama hivi juzi ni kwa nafuatilia watu wana 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 sherekea pentecost and i was following people who are uh, uh, celebrating about pentecost lakini kinachofanya wana sherekea kimwili but what is making them rejoice over pentecost kitu ambacho kiliniuma kinabii some that are made nikasema how come And I said how can this be? Wanao tuona mbinguni wanaona tunasherekea siku ya Pentecost. Those that are in heaven are saying that they are celebrating Pentecost. More than receiving Pentecost. Kanisa hili linahitaji toba. This church need repentance. Kwa nini kwa sababu? Why because kuna kitu kimekosekana hapa. There's something that is missing here. Kuna kitu kimekosekana. There's nothing something missing. Usifikiri tunavyoenenda ndivyo sawa. I think we are moving in the right way. Tunahitaji toba wana wa Mungu. We need repentance. Na kwa sababu ni nyakati za mwisho. And because it is the last days. Kila uovu utafunika. Every sin will Kabla ya kufunika jamii uovu unafunika kanisa. Will cover the church and cover. Hiyo ni kawaida, hiyo ni kawaida. Chochote unachokiona kwenye jamii kimeanza kanisa. Anything you see out there you see it in the church. Alikuja binti mmoja. One lady came to me. Amelawitiwa. I assures her. Akaleta sadaka. And she brought an offer. Bwana akaniambia usimwambie biashara yake, mwambie ana lawitiwa. And the Lord told me don't speak about their business, speak about what I want. Akaniambia ya kwamba huu ni wakati ambao watu watakuepo kanisani. People will be in the church. Wana utefu wa ajabu sana. Who are with much debt. Kiasi kwamba madhabahu zitakuwa kama zina hudumiwa na mashetani sio long takatifu. Will be the devils that are ministering and not the Lord. Labda fanya research, fanya research mwenyewe. Do a research of yourself. Ukiachana na roho ya toba If you leave the spirit of repentance. Ulikuwa unaomba masaa na masaa. If you prayed for hours. Ukiacha roho ya toba. If you leave the spirit of repentance. Utajikuta ni mzito usiku wote unalala. You will find yourself you're sleeping. Ukiacha na roho ya toba. If you leave the spirit of repentance. Ulikuwa uone aibu hata ushika Biblia. Lakini sasa hivi unasalimia kijanja Salomo nini? Unamficha ficha Yesu. Huyu Yesu wa kisasa, Yesu ambaye hayuko mbinguni. Unanielewa ninachokisema? You understand what I say? kitu kimekufa ndani ya kanisa something is dead in the church angalia maisha yako ya maombi look at your prayer life angalia maisha yako ya neno look at your uh, utakuta word, nalo kanisa limemezwa na whatsapp na instagram limemezwa na facebook limemezwa na vitu vya kisasa time is swallowed by facebook and other things mtu mmoja aliniambia niko chuoni one person told me i'm in university na shindo kumtumikia mungu i cannot serve god kwa sababu mazingira yameharibika because of the environment has changed nililia sana i cry maana sehemu ambayo mmoja wapo ambaye mungu nilifundisha kwa kina kuwa karibu na yeye nikiwa chuo na uzuri sikupata disco wala supplementary bigli yangu ilikuwa inapanda kwa hata aliponiita kuchumika sikuja uchumika kwa sababu nimeferi au nimepata disco nilikuja kwa sababu ameniita na ni kweli ameniita sasa nisikilize na wewe aliyekuita ni mwaminifu kuna kitu nakitafuta kabisa unaenda kukipata usiwe na mashaka kabisa lakini unahitaji utupu yani <laughs> mguu wako ukae sawa sawa You, you must be in a good condition. Skilize. Listen. Kuna kizazi kinakuja. There is a generation that is arising. Tutaona vijana wadogo wanatembea na nguvu za Mungu. Bwana alinionyesha jeshi lake la ajabu sana. Bwana saying me is mighty. La watu ambao of people that wameamua maisha yao yawe dhabihu. Decided their life. Roho ya toba ni kufanya maisha yako kuwa dhabihu. The spirit Kwamba of ndio Bwana kwamba ndio Yesu. That is yes Jesus. Hebu inama chini. 
Please bow down your head. Fumba macho yako. And close your eyes. Sitaki ujihesabie haki. I do not want you to be self righteous. Umesema ndio bwana? You have said have you said yes Lord? Juu ya maisha yako personal. Have you said yes Lord of your life? Umesema ndio bwana? Have you said yes Lord? Au kuna kitu hujatubia kinakuzuia? Oh there is something that you're not repented about that is disturbing. Mungu yupo tayari kuachilia huruma zake. God is ready to release Kwa yeyote yule. To anyone. Ali tayari. Who is ready? Aliye tayari kubadilika. Who is ready to change? Nasema aliye tayari kubadilika. I say the one who is ready to change. Naona wingu la ajabu sana la Lord. I see a very wonderful cloud. Ukiwa umeinama natamani umpe nafasi. While you Wewe gonna, kama wewe umpe nafasi Lord. Give life to Jesus. Umpe nafasi Lord. Give your chance to the Holy Spirit. Utaona mambo ya ajabu leo. And you see great things today. Lakini kusudia kubadilika. But mean to change. Kusudia kubadilika. Mean to change. Wakati naangalia mieleka. While I was looking at the boxing. Bwana akaniambia hautakuwa kama vijana wengine. Zaidi ya ukovu kuna kitu kinahitajika. More than salvation there's something that is needed. Kuna kitu kinahitajika. There's something that is needed. Ili uwe na ladha ya kweli. So that you may have a true a taste. Please ninaongea na nafsi kila mmoja aliyepo. I'm speaking to a soul of everyone who is here. Umeamua utumishi wako? Have you decided your ministry? Have you decided your life? Yes, watukuzo kupitia wewe. That may, Jesus may be glorified through it. Unahitaji gharama ya kutubu kwa You need a price to pay. Yaani kuwa tayari kubadilika kabisa. Being ready to change completely. Angalia mbingu ziko na sisi hapa. Angalia mbingu ziko na sisi hapa. The heavens are together with us here kwa sababu because Mungu anaheshimu maamuzi ya mtu. God uh, respects the decision of anyone. Bwana aliniambia. The Lord told me utakapoamua as you will, you will decide wengi wataponywa. A lot will be healed. Ndicho Mungu anangojea kwenye familia yako wengi that, waponywa. That is what God is waiting in your family. Chukua maamuzi. Take a decision ya kumuishia Yesu. Of living for Christ. Please ninaongea ninaelewa ninachoongea. I know what I'm speaking about. Mwishie Yesu. Live for Christ. 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 Hata ukristo wa kisasa, mwishie Yesu. Stop uh, having a modern Christianity. Mwishie Yesu. Live for Christ. 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 Kwa gharama yote utakuja kujuta. Any price you want regret. Hata kama even though atakam even though itakuhitaji mabadiliko it will need you to change itakuhitaji hatua nyingine it will take you another step itakuhitaji kampani nyingine if it will need you wakati mbao ulepo shina mama mama baba ulikuwa unaongea na watu hata ukiwa tooni utajisikia kuongea na Mungu even when in the toilet roya to itakuwa inawaka moto kama alivyosema Yeremia nikitaka ninyamaze siwezi maana kuna moto ndani yangu ambao hauniachi na mapona kasaka ule uzito ambao ulikuwa unaosikia maisha ya wokovu pasipo maombi yatakoma the life of salvation without prayer will be kwa sababu ukitubu because when you repent kuna roho itazaliwa ndani yako there is a spirit that will be born in you na haujachelewa and you are not late haujachelewa you are not late Sijui mimi sio mchungaji mimi nabii Nimekuletea ujumbe ambao Mungu anataka I've brought to you a message that God wants you to hear Uwe uwe mtu uwe mhudumu uwe uwe hujaokoka uwe umeokoka You're born again either you're not Yesu anasema tupo Jesus say repent Maana ya kutubu The meaning of repent is sana It is very simple Angalia muda ulipokuwa vizuri kwani umeacha kuwa vizuri Look at the time on your Na usipuuzie kwa sababu roho ya ukaidi na, na upotofu ndio hapo tunaangamia hatuchukulii mtu mwenye toba ni mtu wa kujisaisha ni mtu wa kuangalia ah kwa nini nilikuwa naenda vizuri hii connection imekatika maisha ya kufunga na kuomba niliyokuwa nayo zile moment ambazo nilikuwa naona kabisa hata dunia hii ni takataka hata dunia hii mimi ni mpitaji lakini leo nimekaa kama mwenyeji sitarajii mbinguni sijui na mimi ni wajanamu 
Yamama by the case of Pona de Kisata. Lazima to Ludi Conyatoba. Ule Wakati Ulio Kuapolo made a one. Zira and Gia and Bazas in the Quasina to Sogesa. Yanda Beketa Pina go sit now. Leo here to make what of Vinyong or Chung. Nilaisi at Kubakiza or Chung. And forgiveness. Was a Babu Kunaki to Kimondo. Because the Sunday is left. There is some that is left. In any place in your life. Why are you losing that? Means the you need to come back to repentance. The one who made you has And you could overcome. Yesu tukufu. And you give Na God God. God. And God is manifesting. And you will think as if it was leo, But today. Kira every problem is swallowing you up. Yes, you come and I'm quite disappointed. Such a way that it is. Ume kanda mizwa. Your prayers. Ata even now again, we huna tumaini. Even as I speak, you have no hope. Kuna kitu kime kufa. The sun that is dead. Basi utubu. Now repent. Urudi ya ali machenu ya kwanza. And come back to the Now luma samongo sina pita kukuchukua tuwe. And the message of God is passing right now. Leo ni rikwa na tubu. Today I was repenting. Ni kamambi ya mungu. And I told the Lord. Ni saidiya. Help me. Where, where is this idea? Just help me. Where, where is this idea? Ni we tu kama we. Just help me to be like this you. idea. Just help me. Tu po kwenye kizazi ambacho. We're in a generation that. Uduma. Ministry. Ime kuwa kama diri flani. It's like a, uh, a religion. Ime kuwa kama diri flani. It's like a certain religion. Ni kama mbia ni saidiye. And I told him help Please, me. Please ni saidiye kwenye kizazi hiki kikaine. Please help me with this rebellion. Ni saidiye, ni saidiye, ni saidiye, ni saidiye. Help me, help me. Natamani hiki kiwa kilio chako jione. I want this to be your cry today. Natamani hiki kio kilio chako jione leo. This to be your cry today. Alafu ukiona mtu amekufa kiroho, and when you see someone is dead spiritually, hata uongee naye. Even when you talk to them, ashituki hata kama yuko kwenye hali mbaya. He's not even um, knowing, coming to his senses that he's not right. Kwa sababu mtu huyu ndio Mungu atakaye muangalia, atatemekae. Because this is the one that God will look for who trembles. And a police kia neno. When he hears my word. Wakati wote anaponiambia Mungu. At any time when God speaks, huwa namwambia niko hapa. I usually tell him I'm here. Ah niko hapa, niko hapa. I'm here. Nisaidie. Help me. 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 Na kwa sababu tuko kwenye kizazi ambacho And because we're in a generation that wachungaji wengi manabii wengi wafundishi utakatifu. A lot of pastors and prophets are not preaching about Kwa ukikutana na mahubiri ya kukuleta karibu na Mungu. So when you come across preachings that are bringing you close to God. Sio kukuleta karibu na baraka ya Mungu. It's not bringing you close to the blessings of God. Utasema huyu mtumishi ana matatizo. You will say this preacher has problems. Sina matatizo. I have no problems. Wenye matatizo ni wale wanaokutanisha na baraka. Those who have problems are those that are meeting you with your blessings. Wasikweke mazingira ya kukana na kuwekeka. Putting an environment for you to meet with the one who blesses. Nyakati zinakuja zenye nguvu. Time is coming. Ambazo Mungu that God anawarudia watu wake. Is coming back for his people kwa viwango vingine in another level in another dimension sijui kama kuna vijana wako hapa i do not know if there are young men here muda wetu nakimbia upese our time is running fast na bwana alinionyesha and the lord showed me anakuja upese he is coming quick please anakuja upese he is coming quick sina lugha nzuri ya kusema i have no other word of saying this nitaongea tofauti na manabii wengine i will speak a differently from other prophets when they speak about only your blessings i will speak about your spirit your spirit your spirit and i believe you'll remember me when you die i have no time for the presence of people of the records of this earth Listen. He is coming back. 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 Listen. It will be very sudden. Kufumba na kufumbua. In a twinkling of an eye. Nilicho kiona kinatisha. What I saw is very terrible. Itakuwa gafla. It will be very immediate. Itakuwa gafla. 
Itakuwa ghafla. Hata ambao mliona wamo makanisani wataacha. ya kukosa hii law ya toba. Because of missing the spirit of repentance. Mungu anaheshima uhusiano yako binafsi kuliko kundi. Usijidangaze na kundi. Hata sasa hivi tuko tuko zaidi ya mmoja hapa lakini anakutafuta wewe personally you is waiting for you personally kama hekima ya kaburi inavyomchukua marehemu mmoja hata kama kwenye familia wamekufa watatu kila mmoja anasikwa kaburi lake ndivyo ilivyo maisha ya that is how your life ndivyo ilivyo maisha ya that is how huwa namwombea mke wangu kwamba Mungu akusaidie maana njia hii sio ya kwangu na wewe hii njia ni ya kwangu na ya kwako. Peke yake kila mmoja. Ninakuombea ufike mbinguni. Kwa sababu ninaweza nikaacha ukaenda. Au nikaenda ukaacha. Ninamwogopa Mungu katika swala hili. Nisikilize wanadamu. Historia ya wanadamu inaisha upesi. Na anajidanganya na mambo mengi yanayomzuia kuingia kwenye toba ya kweli na mahusiano ya kweli ya Mungu. Lakini imefika saa sauti ya Mungu inarudi tena tarumbeta ya kujiandaa inarudi tena ya kwamba Mungu anataka watu wake wow waseme kama Paulo nisija nikawa na waupiri wengine nikawa mtu wa kukataliwa hii na mama baba 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 sisi tulio makanisani tunaishi vipi na Mungu how are we living with God Hakuna wakati ambao roho ya Mungu ameniambia umefanya jambo la ovyo ninapotubu na kulia ya kwamba usiniache na mimi ni mwanadamu ni usiniache help me amweke mimi ni dhaifu usiniache usiniache nisaidie huana nipongeza roho ya Mungu ya kwamba hiyo ndio hekima nitakaye kufikisha mwisho na hautaipika maana unamkimbilia Mungu hawataipika they won't be ashamed kuna eneo lipi ambalo unataka Mungu akusaidie? What place do you want God to help you? Au mazoea na kiburi kimekubana. Oh, spirit of pride and rebellion. Namtamani mnyenyekevu wa moyo sio nyole. Namtamani mnyenyekevu wa moyo. I only want that. Labda hujawaiambiwa habari. Maybe I never told about this. Ya kwamba Yesu anakuja. That Jesus is coming. Lakini sikilize. But listen. Makanisa in the churches. Na ole wa ubiri. And what to the preachers? Ole wa. What to the preachers? Ole wa. What to the preachers? Ole wa. What to them? Maana wamemezwa na. Because they are swallowed. Mungu tusaidie. God help us. Frank unasikia Mungu atusaidie. Frank you hear. Atusaidie tu. May he help us. Tunapoambia watu tuambie nini? Nini tuambie? Nini tuambie? Nini tuambie? Please please. Nasikia mbingu zinasema mtakatifu azidi kujitakasa. Let the holy continue being holy. Yes, azidi kujitakasa. Let them be holy. Kama wewe ni mtakatifu utasikia toba. Lakini kama hauko mbali na Mungu, hiki nachoongea hakiwezi kukusaidia. It won't help you. Roho mtakatifu. Holy Spirit. Gusa kundi lako. Touch your people. Wape watu wako kurejea kweli. Give your people to come back truly. Na nguvu za Mungu zinataka kupita hapa. And that the power of God kwa ajili ya yeye aliye na urafiki. To the one who has a Na maisha ya toba hapa. With a life of repentance. Utubu kweli ndani. I want you to repent truly. Ndio maana shetani anawazuia watu. That is why the devil Anajua is Anajua really kitu gani tumekibeba. He knows what we have kept. Nisikilize umepata hii fursa. You have got this opportunity. Nasikia nguvu za Mungu hapa. Bwana anahitaji shujaa. God wants a warrior. God wants a warrior. Utubu kama Yesu Yesu alitubu mpaka yes, anapokufa alisema kikombe hiki ni epuke. Akajishtukia, akajishtukia akasema, "Ah, isiwe no. sawa na mapenzi yangu, bali mapenzi yako yatimisho." Kama Yesu mwenyewe alitubu mpaka anapoingia Getsemane, anapoingia Golgotha, anapoingia fuvu la kichwa, anapoingia msalabani, alitubu kuacha na mapenzi yake, aliendelea kugombana mwanaume, hakukata tamaa, alikombana akai kwenye roho ya toba ili mapenzi ya Mungu yarusiwe ndani ya maisha yake ili mambo ambayo Mungu anataka atimize yatimie kwake ni nani atagombana paka nyakati yake ya mwisho atubu kama Yesu Yesu alisema oh isiwe mapenzi yako bali 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 mapenzi yako Asante kwa kunisikiliza. Thank you for listening. Nataka uwe roho. I want you to be in the spirit. Nataka uwe roho. I want you to be in the spirit. Fumba macho yako. Just close your eyes. 
the Holy Spirit will start to, uh, passing and touching each one naomba mike watu wajawahi kuona hivi nibe mike fumba macho just close your eyes baba ninaomba father i pray juu ya yote anayesogea sai over anyone that will uh, come close now mpe favor give them favor ya nguvu yako of your power hata vitu ambavyo hakuchegemea utafanya uvifanye even the things that you did not intend that you will do do them asante thank you naita damu yako i call upon your blood 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 Asante. Thank you. Ninasikia kilio kizuri cha toba. I hear a good cry of repentance. Na nimeona mbinguni manukato mazuri. And I've seen in heaven a, a good smell. Hivi dakika hata kama huo ni malaika wanashuka. Angels are ascending, are, are descending. Kukupa rekodi nyingine. To give you a new record. Please, nani anamuelewa Yesu jioni ya leo? Please, who is understanding Jesus this evening? Na nani atamkubalia aweze kumtengeneza? And who will accept him so that he may make him new? Rudi kwa upi amwambie fix my heart. Come a fresh and tell him to fix your heart. Mwambie akutengeneze moyo wako. Tell him to fix your heart. Please, bado unayo nafasi ya kumsogelea. Please, there's still room for you to come close. Asante, mkaribie zaidi. Come close. Asante, mkaribie zaidi. Thank you. Come close. Asante, mkaribie zaidi. Yes, come close. Asante, mkaribie zaidi. Come close. Kipo kiwango cha nguvu cha Mungu. There's a level of the power flow. Kinachoenda kudhihirika dakika hizi. That is going to be made manifest this Light minute. now. Wakati huu. Light now. Wakati huu. Nguvu za giza the power of darkness hazitaweza kukufunga tena will not hold you again hazitaweza kukufunga tena will not hold you again angalia kinachotokea look at what is happening mungu you are god is alive 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 fumba macho yako just close your eyes Kuna mtu miaka mitatu imepita. There's a person three years back. Alikuwa amerudi nyuma kabisa. Back uh, was uh, was back slept. tu kanisani mlaje. He's just going to church. Anaenda kanisani tu mlaje. Just going to church aimlessly. Yes. Na jina lake. And the name of this person. Linakuja kama joy 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 joy. Nisikilize. Listen. Nyanyo mikono yako juu. Just raise up your hands. Kabla sijaanza kusema mambo binafsi ya watu. Before I start up uh, prophesying here, natamani ujue. I want you to know this. Mungu anakuja kwako. God is coming to you. Neema hiyo inakuja. Yes, that grace is coming. Endelea kuomba. Just keep on praying under your voice. Nabii wa Mungu anathibitisha unabii mama huyu ni Jessica ana miaka mitatu alikuwa ajaenda kanisani. Miaka mitatu. Ndio nabii wa Mungu. Jesus. Sasa angalia mama alivyo mzuri. Now look at this. Uh, Shetani aliweka roho kata tamaa. Satan put the spirit of losing hope in her. Kwa sababu hata hivi tupo makanisani. Because even now we're in the church. Wanaoharibu watu ni watumishi wa Mungu. Those that are destroying people. Ninaamini kuna wengine hawana hamu hata ya kuja hapa. Even other people. Kwa sababu walikutana na mbwa mwitu. Because they met with these foxes. Unaponyosha mikono, muombe na mchungaji wako asipotoke. When you rise up your hand, pray also. Muombe na mubiri na impenda asipotoke. Nyakati za ajabu ambazo shetani analua kanisa. Watu wamepoteza hamu ya kumwona Yesu kwa sababu hata wanaoongoza wanaopotosha. Even those that are leading them are leading them. Hema mama hiyo Jesus. Yes. Kuna mtu yuko hapa. There's a person who is here. Sitataja jina lako. I want to mention your name. Hii roho Mungu anasema kiongozi wa kiroho. But the spirit is telling me your spiritual leader. Made it to sin. Alikuangusha katika mwili. Made it to sin. Katika mwili alikuangusha. Made it to sin. Na mpaka sasa hivi huna uhakika na watumishi wa Mungu. And until now you are not sure. Kwa mbili walivyo kila mmoja au. Mlet, mlet, mlet. Hii ndio ninachotaka. Hii ndio mbinguni duniani. This is heaven on earth. Kabla hujaponya ugonjwa, uponye roho yako. This is heaven on earth. Uponye roho yako. Asante. Heal your soul. Mpaka tunashindwa kuelewa. Tumfuate nani? Watungaji wote watakuwa hivi. 
Kila mwenye kiti atakuwa hivi Kila kasibu atakuwa hivi Mbona huyu ameniingiza shimoni Mimi nilijua ataniinua kilo Nawaambia watakatifu Mwenye fursa ya kuliombea kanisa aombe sasa hivi Omba usinishangae Endelea kutubu Mwambia mungu na kanisa langu Anafiongea huyu nabi Mwambia mungu na yule askofu wangu Na wale vijana wanaopotea Wamepotea nani Afazali mtu wapote nje Kuliko upote anda Mwana mpote vili kwa laisi Mwana halipote anje Kaka yake halipote andani Kwa hakuna namna mbae Ni laisi kutubu Kwa mtu anepote andani Kwa mtu anepote andani Chumvi kiaribika itatiwa nini hata ikole When the salt is kuna roo ya kinabii na shuka ndani yangu Lakini inaanza mambo ya toba Inaanza mambo ya toba Kuna mtu waliitua Na waliitua ineo la daislamu kufanya uduma Sasa hivi yuko dodoma Alikata tamaa kwa sababu ya mambo ya uchumi Mungu na mambia atubu Bado anayo safari ya kumchumikia Unajua wea ni nani I'm talking to you I'm talking to you Ukiwa daislamu Ulikata tama Ya kwenelea na utumishu wako Kwa sababu mami ya likuwa magumu Na kiasi kwa mba Una utazama tu utumishu kwa mba Lakini mungu wa mekuni Listen to me Unaposikia Roo ya toba When you hear about the spirit of repentance Sema maneno haya yesu ni saidi Say Jesus help me Tena yesu ni saidi Again Jesus help me Kuna mabinchi wawili There are two ladies here Wana roo ya nyoka They have a spirit of snake Mmoja jina haki nanzia M One is name says with the letter M Mwingine jina haki na zamani wapati kama watakuwa tayali kumusugile ya mongo I want them to come if they are ready to come to Jesus Yes, ninatamani ni wapate I desire to get them Ninatamani ni wapate I desire that I get you Ninatamani ni wapate I desire that I get you Nanyomi kone yako chuu Just rise up your hands Kama ni manamke If you are a woman Nisaidia kushika tumolako Help me just by holding your your womb. Nisaidia kushika tumola. Hold your womb. Nisaidia kushika tumola. Hold your womb. Nisaidia kushika tumola. Hold your womb. Nime mwana malaika na pita. I've seen an angel pass. Kwenye matumbo ya onawake. Through the wombs of the womb. Kuna kitu meongarisha na hachi. There is something that is a. Kinacho zuia. That is just. Usue kesi kumpa. That you may not be great on you. Yes, come here. Jabba. Come here. Jabba. Hapa Who are you? Weo ni nani? Shika chumola yako Just hold your womb Kuna watu anafunguri yoko The people are being delivered right there Naomba wa chandaji picha Please just pass Alafu utanisaidia And you'll help me Ukishika tumbo When you hold your womb Ukishika tumbo When you hold your womb Niangalia huko Look at me Adama nimeshuka hapa Niangalia huko vizuli Look at me here Baba katika china wa Yesu Father in the name of Jesus Ninawaita walio wako Watoke kwa adui Adui uri andani ya tumbo Uri andani ya tumbo Moja Mbili Tatu Matia uyo mtu Haraka 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 Mahali popota ulipo Uri ya sababisha maumivu hae Uri ya sababisha ufimbe uwa Uri ya sababisha utasa uwa Haraka kwa sina wa Yesu Christo Na ungea na viumbe veroni Sipu wa masikio Sipuwa masikio Come out kwa chila yes krisha Shika tumu wako kama la kama usema Nasema kama uche Nasema kama uche Nasema kama uche Nasema kama uche Kwa chila la yes krisha Wee ni manamuke shika tumu wako Wakati na omba namna hii As I pray like this Ninaona mtu anapiga miayo I see a person yomi Na wei na mtokea kiwa kwenye maombi And it usually appears when he is in prayer Kwa sababu ni mzimu Because this is an ancestral spirit that is coming from your family. Normally, yes. Just look at me. Dodoma, nisikizi watu wa mungu. Dodoma, here to me, men of God. Minye mnampa Yesu na fast. It is you that are giving God a chance. Kwa sabi Yesu tayari, yuko kwenu. Because Jesus is already in you. Yuko kwenu. He is in you. Haka kwa chinda Yesu. Right now, in the name of Jesus. 
Lazima umachie. You must lose. Una nafasi ya kumonea. You have no chance to continue your oppression. Wewe una neema ya kumchimikia Mungu. You have a grace to serve God. Ni nasikia urudi kumchimikia Mungu. I hear that you should come back to serve God. Kinywa hiki. This mouth. Kikaseme maneno ya Mungu. Let it say the words of God. Usijizalao watani mwanamke. Haijalishi mpita wapi. It does not matter a way of past through. You are chosen one. Umechaguliwa. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Msogeze. Leo chini mahaba. Yes. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In the name of Jesus. Out. Toka. Out. Nini? Sio kwako. This is not yours. There's a young man who has lost direction. Because there's a person whose name starts with the letter E. 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 But this young man he has a name Dani. Dani. He has a name Dani. He has a name Dani. Baka sasa hivi alikuwa amewahi kujifikiria kujua. Until now he Kwa sababu ameenda huku na huku. Because has gone here. Hakuna kinachoendelea. Nothing is going. Hakuna kinachoendelea. Hakuna kinachoendelea. Kaka huyo anathibitisha unabii huo yeye anaitwa Dani. Anaitwa Dani? Yes, anaitwa Daniel. Ninaongea kuhusu masomo. I'm speaking about your studies. Ni kama shetani amekuzuia. It's like the devil is. Zaidi ya miaka sita More than six years. Zaidi ya miaka sita More than six years. Nisikilize. Listen. Nisikilize. Listen. Kuna kitu uliwekewa kichwani. Kilikuwa kinakuja wakati wa mitaani. Unaona hauoni vizuri. Unanielewa ninachosema? Unanielewa ninachosema? Na shetani amekufanya. Uwe finished kabisa. Kwa sababu huna hata tumaini la kuendelea. Ni kama roho yako inakwambia kilichotokea kibaya kitarudi tena. Na hii Bwana anasema hivi. Now you will experience Full stop. Fire. What did I just say? Iola ne me vunchwa. That cast is broken. Now all you'll continue your studies. Listen. 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 Mungu anipe fursa. May God give me an opportunity. Lakini nasikia roho ya unabii ndani yako. I hear the spirit of prophecy. Nasikia roho ya unabii ndani yako. I hear the spirit of prophecy in me. Natamani kusaidia. I want to help you. Endelea kuomba. Keep praying. Endelea kuomba. Just keep praying. Endelea kuomba. Keep praying. Mungu anakupenda. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. God loves you. Yeah, so robo seke pota tata tata. Rima shata pa 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 pa. Yes, we thank you, Jesus, for this month. I thank you. 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 Asante. 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 Huna namna ambayo utakosa muujiza. You have no way that you lose your miracle. Kama unaelewa kitu ambacho Mungu anakifanya. If you understand what God is doing. Kuna mwanamke, there's a woman. Ambaye amefungwa tumbo. Whose womb is closed. Kwa miezi sita sasa. Is in bondage. Ni kama siku zake zimevurugwa za uzazi. It's like his menstrual cycle is closed. Sasa zimevurugwa. Nisikilize, zimevurugwa kabisa. Ukiwa na tatizo hilo, njoo hapa. If you have that problem, njoo hapa maana. Nasikia roho Mungu anamponya mtu namna hiyo. Na Mungu Mungu anathibitisha unabii. Nini imetokea kwenye tumbo? What happened? Yes, ndio kama mimba ilivyotoka. Eh? Kama mimba ilivyotoka kwa hapo nikaa siku zenyewe. Siku zenyewe sio sawa. Nyanyo mikono yako juu. Just rise up. Sisi yako. Sungu ni huruma. It's a time of God's mercy. Niangalie vizuri. Just look at me well. Mungu ana nguvu. God is powerful. What did I just request? The name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Talk and out you evil spirit. In the name of Jesus. Out. Out. What did I just? The name of Jesus. Power. Govu. Power to set free. Govu ya kwako. Govu. 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 Come out. Talk. You evil power. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. 
People will understand. God is ready to help you. He is ready. There is no way you will lose. If you are hungry and thirsty. Please. You are very wonderful. I say you are precious. You are precious. You are precious. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? This is a year. This is a year. Of which God is giving you a una, una, una kipawa, You have a gift. Una kipawa, you have a gift. Una kipawa, you have a gift. That's yes, like people see you. You will teach people. Watakua, and they'll be before even finishing preaching. Kuchana mungu. And they'll start with the people. And they'll start with the people. And they'll start with the people. Una kipawa. You have a gift. Nema ya mungu. I see the grace of God. Kwa sababu ni kama mungu alikuwa na ungea na wewe. Because like God was speaking to you. Unayo safari zaidi ya kazi uri onayo. You have a journey. Kazi ya mungu. There's a work of God. Itaanda as soon. We'll start as soon. Itaanda as soon. We can start as soon. Unatakio chukue siku tatu. We should have taken place. Zakuomba na kufunga. Of fasting and praying. Nitaka upo ondoka. As I live. Kaunge na mungu. Anaenda kukupa melekesho Mini unatakio ufanya Lakini kuna nema kubwa Taifa inangojea Mwaka segi ananema taifa Nito nacho wangea kwako Do not underestimate this Usikadiria chini hili Hivi wakati naongea Nguvu za mungu na ziona chui yako Panguvu kwa sababu Halia kuchagua Anaendelea kukulekebisha Mungu yu hai maari hapa God is at work this place Sema asante Yesu. Say thank you Jesus. Sema asante Yesu. Say thank you Jesus. Haleluya. 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 Nani ana tatizo la ndoa? Who has a problem in our marriage? Hataki niliseme anatani mgusa, naamini nikimgusa. Ana tatizo la ndoa haraka ananyua mkono. Bwana atarifanya. That the Lord will. Sasa hivi tushije mikono. Now. Ni muone either ni binti au mama. Au kijana Anasema nabi mimi na amini Ukinikusha Mungu anenda kumponya mwenza Kuna kitu wa mungu ananiambia Wakuse watu wako kama nane Wako kama nane wana matatisha Na wate wana wate wana wana Kwa experience wana wana Kwa jina wa Yesu Christo Name of Jesus Christ Yes Kini gosa wewe Nita kwa sala Yesu kini gusa wewe Nita kuwa sala Kini gusa wewe Nita kuwa sala Yes, yes Ndiyo, ndiyo, ndiyo Yesu kini gusa wewe Nita kuwa sala Oh, kini gusa wewe Nita kuwa sala Ebu nyanyue Yes, you Manilewa na yose, same tu, same, mabaya yuko chokia, same, same. Yes. Amen. 
Amen. Wewe una neema ya Mungu. You have the grace of God. God. Of leadership. Put your things together. Not only marriage. The spirit of leadership. Yes, we, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot of people. I'm going to be helped because of you. Yes, na yona spirit ya leadership. I see the spirit of leadership. Use it well. Praise Jesus. Bring She's not yet delivered. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Praise Jesus. In the spirit realm, I see there is someone. Say amen. Say amen. He has a land that is in great disputes. And the spirit of the Lord is telling me help this man quick please kama uko na ardhi ina migogoro please if you have land that is like this mungu una bi wao ni wao uje mahali hapa come for it come for it kuna kitu mungu anafanya sasa hivi the sun that God is doing right sasa hivi right now sasa hivi right now touch touch kwa jina la Yesu mungu akaingia hii migogoro may god intervene nafanya upya and maxing you natamani testimony i desire for you to receive it sasa nisikilize now listen nisikilize listen kwa sababu muda unakimbia because time is rushing nabii nitaendelea nazo hata kesho i'll continue with prophecies even tomorrow ni chako utubu kwanza i only wanted it to be kikupa unabii utimie kweli so that when i give your prophecy may come to pass sema amina say amen sema hallelujah say hallelujah ingawa nasikia roho ya kinabii as i hear this, this prophetic Nata grace nataka nifanye unabii I want to do uh, kwa njia ya uponyaji. Wangapi wanapenda wagonjwa wapone? How many want to heal? Sick people to be healed. Basi uniruhusu nifanye hilo. Nabii Mungu. Allow me to do this. Unabii wa msida mgogoro wa Aris. Inabidi nifanye hivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. Wako wapi? John. Come. John nikupe nafasi ya kwanza. Come let me give you this first priority. Haya ni mapepo. Those are demons. They are They hate women. Yes. Oh Jesus, Jesus. Yes, yes. Jesus. Yes, yes. Mama huyu ametengeneza mwezi mmoja. Mwezi mmoja. Ndio. Ametuleza wiki tatu. walk Come out Out but in the Come out Come out Tucker Come out Tucker We roll your mouth The spirit of Out but in the Out Nyanyu 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 Rise up Oh, you are. 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 O
unafanya kazi. The power of God is at work. Unachotakiwa ni kuamini tu. What you need is only belief. Unachotakiwa ni kuamini tu. Only have faith. Hallelujah. Hizo nyama zisiwepo tena. Let us Name of Jesus. Why wa Yesu ingie? That the life of Christ is. Whom shall Yesu ingie? That the breath of Christ is. Whom shall I walk among you? The breath that. Whom shall I take to the magonjo? Neno la keli me police wa pumzi. Neno la keli hai. Neno la keli nanguvu. Neno la keli hai. Neno la keli nanguvu. Neno la keli hai. Be healed. Ponywa. Pokiyo ponyati. Receive healing. Wanda kicho bako nyayo. From you to the source of your hey, you. you enemy. Uri ya mwanea mama huyu. Who the oppressed this mom? Full stop. It's the end. Full stop. It's the end. Kuanzia sasa. From now on. 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 Okay, unaona nguvu ya Mungu? You see the power of God. Kwa maana sima tuna imani, nguvu ya Mungu haionekani kwa macho. That is how we should have faith because Christ. Na yuki amini itakusaidia kuliko madaktari. If you believe. Yesu ni tabibu wa kweli. Jesus is a great physician. Leo kila mmoja ataponya. Today everyone. Kila mmoja ataponya. Everyone will be. Amen to. Just believe. Amen to. Just believe. Yuko mwenye uwezo kuliko wanadamu. Today there's only Christ Jesus. 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 Unasikia nini baada ya kuombea? Hakuna wa kumuliza. Muulize. Yes. Funguka kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. We deliver in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Come out. Toka. Angalia, vinavyosababisha matatizo ni nguvu za giza. What is bringing about problems? Ni nguvu za giza. 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 Lazima ikwatie. Come out kwa jina la Yesu. Uwezo wa Yesu. Sidi ya nguvu za giza. Haraka. Na kausha uvimbe. Haraka pepo lie kama cha uvimbe. Haraka kwa jina la Yesu. Right now the name of Haraka. Right now. Haraka. Right now. Haraka. Right now. Haraka. Right now. Come out kwa jina la Yesu. Come out. Come out kwa jina la Yesu. Huruma za Mungu. Siko tu ya huyu mama. Huruma za Mungu. 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 Free. Huru. Mitisha mungu yuko pamoja na sisi Kwa uwe na imani to Uwe na imani to Unaona Hapa anafanya kitu ambacho we uwezi kuona kwa macho Anafanya kitu itakacho mponya uimama Mungu ni wajamu sana Mungu ni wajamu sana Angalia Siku zote Guvi ya mungu yonekani kwa macho Kwa sabi inatoka lohoni Kama ambavyo umuoni mungu kwa macho Lakini inawezo ufanya kitu mwili Ina uwezo kufanya kitu mwili. Katika ulimwengu huu unaoneka. Katika ulimwengu huu unaoneka. Yes. Nabii wa Mungu, nabii wa Mungu, mama huyu amepokea uponyaji. 
ana miaka mitatu ameumwa miguu na alikuwa hawezi kutembea kwa muda mrefu na sasa hivi amesema amepokea kabisa uponyaji Haski uzito wala maumivu kwenye mguu Nilikuwa na matatizo ya mguu nilipata ajali mwaka mwaka moja miaka minne iliyopita lakini katika ndani ya miaka mitatu nilikuwa nikitembea vizuri Sasa hivi namshukuru Mungu nimepona Umepona Nabii wa Mungu wakati unamwambia baba huyu anatapiga vitu vya ajabu Anatapiga vitu vya ajabu Ndio ndio Yes, ni nguvu ya Mungu inamsaidia. That is the power of God that is at work. Kicho pano na adui akiwezi kuwepo. What was planted by the enemy oh, my, cannot my, survive. Na ito Veronica. Eh? Naitwa Veronica. Nini kilikuwa kinasumbua? What was the problem? Nilipataka ajali ya pikipiki. Baada ya maombezi nini imetokea? Baada ya maombezi nimeona mwili ni mwepesi alafu mguu haumi. Mguu haumi tena. Hata aliyopata ajali Yesu anaweka viungo sawa. Even the ones that got us. Hallelujah. Yesu ni mwema tena. Nenda mama haitakurudia tena. Go mama it will not return again. Kwa jina la Yesu. The name of Jesus. Adui Devil loose. Alaka uwe mzima. Right now be healed. Uwe mzima. Be healed. Uwe mzima. Be healed. Angalia unasumuliwa na nini? What is the problem? Eh? Mapozi ya kesha kwenye wagonjwa. Wao wanajibu alaka ili shudumie wengi. Kaa kana wagonjwa, kana wagonjwa. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Nabii wa Mungu mama huyu anasema nasumbuliwa na kifua. Come out. Kwa jina la Yesu. kwa jina la Yesu. Out. Nje. Naomba usikie kidogo. Usikie kidogo simondumiwe. Amen. Amen. Naomba nafasi hiyo. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Name of Jesus Christ. Come out. Doctor. Pressure. Baba, baba. Yes. Come out. 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 Mate, mate, mate. Come out. Loose. Mate. Come out. Come out kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Out kwa jina la Yesu. Out. Nje kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Baka. Out. Leo mwisho, leo mwisho. Leo mwisho. Leo mwisho. Let's breathe. Baba, baba, baba. Free. Hudu. Kila gano nilo kwa na mbo pressure. Every covenant that was born. Lime funcho wa damia yeso kwa isa. You are free. 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 Kwa uruma samo. Kwa uruma samo. Kwa uruma samo. Kwa uruma samo. Be hit. What did I ask? Yes. Hey. Ponyaji unaingia. Healing is getting into. Ponyaji kamilif. Healing. Ponyaji unaingia. Healing. Yes. Fire kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Mate kwa jina la Yesu. Fire. Fire. Mate. Yes, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Come out. Out. Kwa jina la Yesu. You are free. Uko huru. Santa. Thank you Jesus. Atia tumbo hile Adui Atia Lose this one Atia Lose this one Hisi ni ambayo za funguli wa kwake Hisi ni ambayo za funguli wa kwake Haraka Hakuna shetani mkubwa hapa Hakuna shetani mdongo Wote mnaondoka Come out 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 Free Come out Mishika mzuri Mishika mzuri Mishika mzuri Yes 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 Out 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 Come out Come out Come out Come out Come out Mama. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name.
That is the power of darkness. It's the power of darkness. Jesus. Let him give you grace. The name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. 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 Alikuwa awezi kuinama sasa hivi amepokea uponyaji anainama na kupumua alikuwa pumui vizuri sasa hivi amepumua kabisa Asante Yesu Kuna kama wewe Who forgives all your sin and heals all your diseases? Who forgives all your sin and heals all your diseases? Who forgives all your sin and heals all your diseases? Na dua mungu maajabu zina yanafanyika katika ukumbi huu dada huyu alikuwa na tatizo la macho pamoja na ki, kichwa kuuma kwa muda mrefu lakini baada tu ya maombezi amefunguliwa kabisa macho anaona vizuri Mama huyu 
ambao alikuwa na tatizo la miguu kwa muda mrefu baada tu ya mombezi miguu yake sasa naisikia mepesi hata kama ilikuwa imevimba lakini anasema sasa ni mepesi kabisa jambo ambalo ameshangaa yeye mwenyewe Aonyeshe mguu Hakuna namna lazima uachie. Pray kwa jina la Yesu. kwa jina la Yesu. Stand to your feet wherever you are. Thank you for enduring.